JoJo's Science Show! Hello, welcome to JoJo's Science Show. Today, we're going to be learning all about motors. We're going to be building this model engine kit. And your mind is going to be blown. <laughs> what? This is a model of a combustion engine. A combustion engine has four steps. I see PE. Ugh, I hate it when I see PE. It stands for intake, compression, power, and exhaust. During the intake stroke, the intake valve opens and the piston starts to move towards the bottom. Then, the air fuel mixture is drawn into the cylinder. During compression, the intake and exhaust valves are closed and the air mixture is compressed. As the piston reaches the top, a spark is generated. During power, the combustion from the air fuel mixture creates an increase of pressure inside the cylinder. This pushes the piston down. The engine only produces energy during the power stroke. During exhaust, the exhaust valve opens. The movement of the piston from the bottom to the top pushes most of the gases out of the cylinder through the exhaust pipes. Those are the four strokes of a four-stroke engine. Well, let's get building. That's a lot of instructions. The first step is to put the engine mounting stand and oil pan together. Next, we put the lower crankcase on top of the oil pan. Next, we're going to put some connecting rods onto the crankshaft. There are four of these. Next, I place piston pins on the connecting rods and then I surround them with piston halves. Next, I put the crankshaft into the lower crankcase and then encase it all with the upper crankcase. Now, I place the cylinder block and on top of that, I put the head gasket. Inside of the lower cylinder head, we place the cylinder head covers, and inside of that, we place eight valve stems that are encased in springs. Now, we flip it upside down and place four big intake valves and four small exhaust valves. We screw it on to the rest of the engine. Now, I place each timing cam onto the long shaft and put that onto the lower cylinder head. We place the upper cylinder head onto the lower cylinder head. Now, we place eight rocker arms onto the short shaft and then we hold the short shaft in place with five bearings. Now we put the rocker arm cover on top of the upper cylinder head. I install the timing wheel on the top side of the crankshaft and the timing gear at the bottom. Now, I put a belt pulley in the side of the crankshaft and I attach all of this with a timing belt. Now, I install the timing belt cover. On top of the timing belt cover, I put the rear half of the water pump and on top of that, I put the front half. Here, I have to install the fan belt pulley and the crankshaft pulley. On top of the crankshaft pulley, I need to put the crankshaft pulley cover. I install the fan belt to the crankshaft pulley and the fan belt pulley, and then I install the fan. Here, I'm installing the flywheel spacer, the flywheel clutch, and the drive module. On top of the drive module, I put the clutch housing. 
Here, I'm installing the distributor assembly into the lower cylinder head. These represent the sparks. Next, I attach the exhaust manifold to where the light bulbs are connected to. I also attach the intake manifold cover to the opposite side. I install the intake manifold on top of the intake manifold cover and on top of that the carburetor. This motor requires a battery pack. Here's our working motor. Here you can see the fan and the fan belt. Here the crankshaft is moving the pistons up and down. Look closely and you can see the LEDs lighting up to represent our sparks. Here the valve stems are being pushed down by the rocker arms. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel to see more awesome videos like this one and ring the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And remember, science is fun. Ha <laughs> ha.